Welcome back to Desert Wood Days, and I am here with Mr. Wayne Lundy, the actor. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. How have you been? Good. Keeping busy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. How's that? How are you managing that? Every time I look at on television or online, I'm seeing you in a commercial. Well, I mean, it's it's really just being open to a lot of different things, and and, and finding ways to get busy. And so for myself, um, I've had to find different ways of applying to different uh, productions and so forth, whether it's out of state uh -huh. or here locally um, and having a, a whole set of resources to go to. Uh -huh. So I, I'll meet a lot of new actors on set and they'll ask me the same question. And I already have a, I'm a Virgo, so I've already got- Virgo here. Uh, oh, there we go, so you should already know the answer to this. Um, so I've got a list um, of places that I go for looking for jobs right. and so forth. And also I'll send that to them um, to do. So that's what I do. I, I have a routine every morning. I go through and I look at these different locations to see what the, the opportunities are and, and apply as they are fitting. It's called work. Yeah, exactly. It's doing a job. The, doing the work. You gotta do the work, yeah. And just just one, show up. That's one thing your acting coaches and people, agents or whatever, they'll tell you, you have to do the work. Don't think that someone's going to do the work for you. Yeah. You're not going to wake up in the morning. Someone's going to come to your house and say, hey, right. I got a job for you. Yes. you know? Although sometimes it does happen. I mean, I, I got uh, um, contacted last night by our friend over here, Ash, uh, to do a role in his uh, film. So oh. sometimes they come out like that. So right. they'll just be out of the blue. And uh, and those are good. Those are, those are the good ones. They, they make know, you feel good. Yeah, they know your work. So right. they know you'll be a good candidate Boy, for that role. They can count on you. When did you decide you wanted to be an actor? When? Okay, so the way this worked out was when I was a kid, uh, I'd, I'd watch TV and I'd see these kids and I'd think, I'd like to do that. That'd be cool and so forth. But I had nobody in my family, no resources, you know, that were in the entertainment world. Uh -huh. So I had, there was nothing. So that was, this was just a dream that was in my head right. and it just sat there. And then I went on with life and then mm -hmm. and uh, I decided when the time was right, which was in about uh, 2016. Oh, okay. And I reached out to a um, uh, director, a theater director, mm -hmm. and she had a, a casting call. And I sent her a message and say, hey, I'm not a candidate for this particular production, but if you have something in the future, I'd be interested. And then my phone rang. She called me up and said, why don't you think you'd be appropriate for this? I'm like, okay. Um, and so she, <laughs> like, so you. Exactly. I was like, okay, maybe I am. So, so she ended up casting me for it. Okay. And uh, this is the first thing I've ever done. I've done nothing. I'm a, I'm a complete fish out of water when it comes to everything to do with the, you know, the acting world. Mm -hmm. And it was a very intense play. It was a lead, lead role. Oh, and, and you got a lead yeah, role. It was crazy. And um, so it was, it was a story about a very dramatic story, four of us. And um, there's a lot that took place in this. This is in the mm -hmm. 50s. And I had to go through a whole lot of emotions oh. in this. And, the, you know, our first uh, uh, running of the play, the audience is really close. I think okay. it's the first time I've ever done anything. And so it's like, okay. And I was working with people who were very seasoned uh. actors. And so it was, you know, it was good. I mean, I'm very glad I did it. But it okay. really forced you to really work hard Step to try and game. keep up. Right. right. Because And they, they call you out, too, if you weren't doing yes, it. Yes, they will. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's where it started, really, in 2016. Uh, I just made the decision to get started with it. Um, also in 2016, it was the first time I ever did a, a walk down the runway. Oh. Yes. And that was through, who was that through? Oh, it was Kathy Blaze. <laughs> yes, that was with you. So, um uh, so that was the first time I'd done something like that. So it was really just jumping in and going for it and so forth. So it's been um, quite a journey so far. Yeah. Um, a lot to learn. Um, and I mean, I can go on and on. Yeah. But um, yeah, fish out of water. I grew up in a military family. So in acting, you got to show a lot of emotion. Mm. Basically, I grew up doing the opposite of everything you want to do in acting. And so, so for me, it's like almost unlearning that, right. um, and, and trying to, you know, do those things. So like the, the that first play, 
the director's like, well, can you cry? Because my sister gets, you know, right. murdered and all this kind of stuff. Wow. And, and I've got this speech at the end, and I'm talking to her up in heaven. I'm supposed to be crying. And she asked me, she said, can you cry? I said, no. I said, I can be sad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can be sad. But I, there's no tears coming out of this guy. Because I'm a military man. Exactly. I don't we cry. We don't cry. It's like, there's no, why would I cry? You know, so, so yeah. So, you know, so I think part of acting also is learning what you yeah. need to learn right. and so forth. So I'll self-evaluate myself and say, okay, I know what things I need to learn mm-hmm. um, to, to, you know, to get a authentic performance. So it sounds like going, being a part of that, that play mm-hmm. that got you started. It taught you a lot. I learned a ton from that. Right. Yeah. And you know, that's, what you're telling our audience is that sometimes you just have to jump in with both feet. Don't yeah. don't doubt yourself. Don't wait. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's I mean? Because you, you could have said, "Oh, that's not for me." Yeah. Well, you could chicken out. Yeah, yes. absolutely. So it's like, I mean, just do it. You know, what's the worst that could happen? They could laugh at you, <laughs> boo you <laughs> off the stage. You know. But I look back at the film on it, of it, because there was a film of it, which no one will ever see. Um, but I saw myself, and the way I moved on stage was horrible. You know, I mean, it was a very small stage, but I was hopping around like a rabbit. Oh. And it was like, okay, why are you doing that? Um, and so, again, you know, it was all new to me. I had to get from point A to point B, you know, smoothly and so yeah. forth. So there's a lot to learn. Yeah. Um, and we've done that play. We ended up doing it in Ohio. We went on the road with it and so forth. So so we've done a lot with it. But being in the theater p- p- portion of it was really good for me because it uh-huh. taught me good habits, especially learning your scripts. So you just jumped around, pounced like a rabbit, but you got it done. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did indeed. And it was it was a great experience. Yeah. Um, I've done probably four other plays. It was Gwen Wright, then four others. I'm in a murder mystery right now oh, okay. that uh, we have rehearsal tomorrow. Oh. Um, so it's it's just getting after it. And uh, I've, I've like I said, I learned a lot from it, made a lot of contacts from it. And one contact leads to another contact. Mm-hmm. You and I are in a play together. Yeah. And that was Larissa's play. Yeah. And um, so every time I see somebody playing third grade Marshall, I'm like, mm-hmm. I was third grade Marshall. I know. You know? I so, know. You know. So you mentioned a um, murder mystery. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that as an actor, you're getting much out of that? Or are you giving yeah. giving much in that? Yeah. I mean, just like anything else, I mean, you still have to learn your lines. Mm-hmm. You're still out there in front of the audience. You still have to deliver the performance. So uh-huh. it's 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 just another play. Oh, okay. um, it's 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 run a little bit differently where you're doing for first half and then they have dinner and then trying to figure out who did it. Oh. And, and then after dinner, uh, we finish off the play. And they get to see who it is that was the guilty party. Oh, so okay. uh, this is my third time doing this one, and oh. so I was a I was a detective, and I was a doctor, and I'm a detective again. Okay. So so it's a lot of fun. Okay. And that's... the audience loves it, you know, because they you know they try to figure out who did it right. based off of the performances and so forth. Right. I've gone to a dinner theater before, and um, it it didn't seem like it was mo- mo- much script to it. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, we've got it's. I mean, it's thirty pages, you know, wow. uh, worth. So, um, so there's plenty of dialogue in there. Oh, and so, okay. with this particular role, um, I'm sort of bridging everybody because I'm the detective, and so okay. I'm asking the questions of this one and so forth and oh, so okay. forth. Okay, so and you have there, a lot of meat in that. So there's a lot in that one. Hmm. Um, I, I had another one where it was a, it was a last minute one, and I was playing Barry Gordy, and <laughs> this is a funny story. At least it was to me. Um, so it was last minute. So I had, I had like three days to learn this play. And so, again, in this one, the everybody's singing. You got Stevie Wonder, Diana Ross, and so forth. And I am having memories of these people. And that's my role. So I'm like, yeah. oh, I remember when I was doing this. And then Stevie Wonder would sing a song oh, and so forth. Okay. So I had to learn. I didn't know all the songs. Uh-huh. So I had, my cues were when the song ended right. and so forth. So the funny part was, at one point, I'm sitting there, and the audience is right there in front of me. And my I'm waiting for this person to finish singing. And then I've got to say my part, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, I forgot everything. I could not remember a single word you what I was going to say. You got into the music so part I'm with si- bobbing your head, and just I was forget. lost. And so I'm sitting there going, I'm just smiling. And I'm like, this audience has no clue that right now, when this song is over, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Wow. And I'm just waiting, and it's like, and fine. when the song ended, fortunately, it all came back. You know, and it was fine. But but the whole time there, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to say when the song is over. You know what? I've had that happen in theater before. It's like you get up there and all of a sudden it's like crickets, you mm-hmm. know, just lost train of so, thought mm-hmm. and it's just gone. Yeah, it's a wake up call. You are also a fitness trainer. Mm-hmm. Is this a skill that you use in your acting? Um, it, there's two ways it really impacts the, the, the acting. One is roles that I get or don't get as a result of it. And then also, um, I'm part of a, uh, a stunt team here in Arizona. And this started, Richard Ryan started this in about October of last year. Right. And so it's about a dozen of us. 
And we meet every Saturday. We're there this morning. And we will practice. And the idea is that when films need stunt people to do oh. things that maybe the actors uh -huh. could, can't do, uh -huh. we can step in and do them. So whether it's hand to hand stuff or weapons, today we're you know doing weapons and taking weapons away from people oh, and so okay. forth. Um, we we can step in and do those things, which is good because you know you have that. I try to think of this. You have that everyday man type of look, so you can fit in some of these characters. I mean, right. being fierce, and you can probably pass for someone else. So I've been a stockbroker and hitman. Yeah, so it works well. It'll work well for you. You're not. We, we so we spoke about you being um, a film actor, theater, in theater, but you also have been doing a lot of commercials. Mm -hmm. Right, the commercials are a lot of fun. Um, uh, the one I've got uh, most recently out is a uh, car wash one. Okay. And in that one, at one point, I was actually in the car wash, and you know, so I'm talking. It, it's it's a very you know, comedic spot, and I'm just getting soaked while I'm in there. As the car is coming through, I'm I'm saying my part to the camera, and I'm just getting soaked and having to just deliver my lines, even though the spray is continuing to hit me. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun doing that one, and and that one just came about off Facebook. You know, it was just, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was posted there and, and I was able to get it. Um, I know we're going to talk about, you know, advice to new actors, be open to, uh, to lots of things. I did. Too. You're just going to prevent me from asking my question. I know. I just, it, just roll right into it. So go ahead and ask the question. <laughs> what advice would you give to an aspiring actor? Be open to anything that comes up, almost anything. Um, and so I, there were some uh, local ads uh, that they were posting on um, Facebook, uh, you know, that they were casting for. And they paid very little. I mean, yeah. tiny, tiny, uh -huh. tiny. But uh, but I needed commercial reel. I needed the experience and so right. forth. It was with a teleprompter. So, yeah, I jumped on that sure. and did it. And so I got a few of those and was able to put a reel together. And based off the reel, was able to get this and other ones as well. Um, so it just it just piggybacks. And so you don't, I mean, if you have that expectation that you're going to walk in, you're going to get that big role, uh -huh. you know, forget it. You're, you know, you're dreaming your life away. Go in there and start, like I said earlier, do the work. Right. And it'll it'll bring it more work to you. But it's it's bit by bit. Sure. Where can our audience find you? Holy mackerel, WayneLundy.com. Wayne, oh, make that easy. You know, <laughs> Wayne very Lundy. easy. Com. Or for the personal training, TrainerWayne.com. Okay. So either one of those, you can find me there. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you just have to invest the time to make it happen. Well, thanks for investing the time and coming here, sitting on my couch today, Absolutely. Mr. Wayne. Good to see you again. Such a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today on Desertwood Days, and we will see you next time.